Taxi is one of the most used ways of transportation in the Philippines. On July 12, 1980, the country's President Ferdinand E. Marcos created the Light Rail Transit Authority or LRTA as a government agency. The actual cost of the project in 1986 was 3.4 billion pesos. Against an expected gross revenue of 365 million pesos for the first operating year, government losses were thought likely to reach 216 million pesos. The system was designed as a public utility rather than as a profit center. The LRT used dual fare system which cost either 1 peso or 10 pesos depending on the number of stations. By 1990, the LRT was showing premature aging due mostly to poor maintenance and overloading. Consequently, the LRTA did not renew its operating contract with Metro Incorporated that expired on July 31, 2000 and assumed all operational responsibility. In 2005, the LRTA made a profit of 68 million pesos, the first time the agency made a profit since the LRT-1 became operational in 1984. Today, the LRT remains to be one of the most controversial agencies of the government due to its inefficient facilities. Which begs the question, are we going forward?